Hello everyone, Jan Beer JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do another graphics card review for the Zotac 3070 Ti. And uh, when I actually first got into PC gaming, that I was told from all different kind of resources that you know you shouldn't get a Zotac card due to various different reasons, such as you know it's really bad building quality, uh, it is underperformed, and it has terrible warranty. Uh, which you know some of them I was you know uh, cannot believe, but some of them I was you know kind of you know suspicious about that because it is a brand that has been existing for a while, and uh, you know recently I think the GPU shortage has been relieved a little bit, although the cards are not at technically at MSRP, but uh, I was able to get my hand on a Zotac 3070 Ti, and today we're going to actually. Uh, see how this car actually performs in terms of you know its scores and also its thermals and its build quality. We're even going to take the part apart and look at what's inside and how they you know the build qualities are. And uh, yeah, I'm actually very excited to see uh, how this builds. So you can see that this card is the AMP Holo Black. Uh, it, it is their second um, top brand because the, you know there was AMP Extreme on the top and this is the AMP Holo which is the uh, second best one. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's start with the unboxing first. Okay, so after I unbox this, actually I should say that the actually the card is uh, build quality is more than what I expected. So let's first start looking at some of the stuff that's included, and we have some you know shiny stickers and we have warranty cards uh, within this bag, and it's it looks pretty cool, like the metallic looking um, you know reflecting card. You can post, you can you know basically paste it on your uh, case. And the card is really well wrapped within this um, huge, you know, uh, huge form bag. And uh, I think this provides really nice, uh, you know, protection to the card, uh, you know, during the process of transaction to the, you know, destiny location, which is your home. And, uh, you know, it protects the heart from uh, being damaged. And looking at the card itself, it actually looks um, pretty cool. So, uh, first of all, if we can see at the front shelf, um, the three fans is actually occupying higher length of its metal shell. That means that uh, it's actually provide enough cooling to all its uh, vapor chamber down here. And uh, when you look at this way, you will see that this is the RGB part. Uh, you can see it's kind of like a um, um, a gradient looking uh, changing from green to red on this side. I'm pretty sure this thing is going to light up and have the Zotac logo showing on this part. And then looking at the back, we're having the uh, the typical uh, metallic backplate, uh, which you know shows the the logo here and some cutouts 
uh, for the fans to actually blow wind through. And uh, uh, also in terms of thermal wax, I could say that there's definitely thermal pads within that you can see actually from here. Um, there is, you can see some traces of the, um, um, the thermal pads in here, which means that it's actually providing some um, cooling to the back, to the uh, GDDR6 memory, also on the back, which it doesn't have it uh, for the 770 Ti. That's a good sign. So also, you know, just notice that I think the Zotac card is actually using the uh, um, the reference PCB. So you can see that the uh, actually the 2.8 pin is actually in the middle of the card because this PCB is kind of short. Normally you can see that for the, if we compare with the Supreme Max that I showed in the last video, uh, the PCB is actually cover the entire length of the card but the reference PCC is kind of short. So if I do like, you know, water cool your graphics card, you will have a relatively smaller um, water block that saves some space. Uh, but, you know, I was kind of uh, expecting a little bit better performances because it's a shorter PCB, so that means that there's more cooling um, to the vapor chamber. You see that this increased size for the vapor chamber here, so that I'm expecting a little bit better cooling uh, performances, you know, on this end. So uh, yeah, basically I would say that the, uh, the definitely the, you know, the unboxing uh, gives me some really nice impression to this card. And I'm really curious to see how it actually performs on our test range and how it performs versus the 3070 Ti Supreme X, which is also one of the best of its kind uh, from the MSI. Uh, let's see, you know, how it performs. Okay, now as you can see that the ambient temperature is 24 degrees Celsius and the Supreme X is on the test bench and we have been running for like 15 minutes and we see that the GPU temperature is roughly around 60 degrees and the hot spot being around 869 while the memory temperature is 82 degrees. Now let's check out how Zotac card perform. Okay, so now the uh, the Zotac GPU has been running for roughly about 15 minutes and we're seeing the, uh, the, the core temperature around 63, almost 64 and the hot spot is like 72, 73 degrees while the memory temperature is hovering around 88 all the way almost to 90. And we can see the fan is spinning almost the same RPM. So one other interesting I've noticed here is that you can kind of like see the logo like at different angles while the fan is spinning, which is pretty uh, pretty fun. You see the Zotac logo here, and you see the Zotac word here. And what do we see here? Well, we don't see anything here because it's not shiny. But this actually looks pretty funny. So now we can see the comparison of the stats in here uh, for AMP Holo versus Super Max. And from the 3D mark times by score, we can see that um, the difference uh, is mainly because of the uh, uh, margin of error. I would say that these cards were like exact, exactly the same performances. Uh, in terms of 1080p, AMP Holo is slightly higher than Supermax, while the uh, Supermax is doing a little bit better, both in terms of 2K and 4K performances. And for the noise level wise, the AMP Holo is uh, due to the fan design. I think it is a little bit louder than Supermax, um, but not in a good way. Uh, I do hear the noise, uh, you know, it's a little bit unbearable compared to Supermax. Uh, and um, yeah, in terms of temperature wise, um, the core temperature wise, it's only like four degree uh, differences, but for the memory and uh, uh, the hotspot, it's like six degrees. Uh, to five degrees i think this is due to that although supreme x have a higher uh, a, a thicker um, vapor chamber um, i think it's, it's due to that the uh, the quality of the thermal pads that might not be as good as the uh, the supreme x ones so for the core temperature the four degree differences um, it might be cause of due to thermal pace it, it was pre-applied uh, but we're not sure so uh, maybe there's a design in terms of cooling performances but um, uh, it's it's looking fine. Um, it's still usable. It's not. It's still not over the uh, GDDR6 bearable temperatures. So um, not that much of a big difference. So now we have seen a through test of the uh, both the cooling and performance of the uh, Zotac 3070 Ti. And uh, I don't know what you guys feel, but what I feel is um, this card is actually doing okay. So. 
um, in terms of, first of all, let's talk about the performances. We can see in most tests that uh, this car is actually doing, uh, the result is very quite similar with the uh, Supreme X, which is the, um, the flagship GPU of the uh, <coughs> MSI brand. And uh, I know the, uh, on the, the fan is uh, for this GPU is actually, I think a little bit worse than the MSI ones. That's why the cooling is actually a little bit different. So I believe that if you switch the fans to the uh, MSI ones, you, you're probably getting a similar performances or even better. So um, also like, you know, it, due to the fact that it also has included thermal pads on the backside as well. So I feel like this car, the performances shouldn't be so bad even before we test it. Um, and my suggestion to Zotac car, I say that, you know, still don't buy it. Uh, first of all, why? Like, you know, if you take a look at the price tag, this thing is selling for uh, right now in the store, twelve ninety nine. I think this price is, you know, you, with, I think the 3080 Supreme Max, you can get it for 13 or something. So it's like $70 difference. You can get a 3080 versus the 3070 Ti. Uh, that's actually a huge jump. And um, honestly, I feel like there's, uh, the price of this thing is actually outrageous. Uh, you know, being Zotac and uh, some weird qualities such as this, you know, squeezing noises, you shouldn't price your GPU somewhere really high like that. And also you're using reference PCB, you are not putting too much, uh, you know, efforts or, uh, you know, money into designing everything. So I feel like you should price your GPU in a more reasonable range, uh, somewhere around like 1100, um, <clears throat> maybe 1100 is also a little bit more expensive. Uh, so maybe like, you know, 1049 or 1099, I think that should be reasonable, but pricing is somewhere um, near like, you know, 1299 is definitely unacceptable for a GPU like this. It's, it's a 3070 Ti, there's no match for 3080s. And uh, also it is the, uh, the Supreme Max. But, you know, if you're able to get your hands on this, just use it. There's nothing wrong with the car itself. It's just basically uh, the people who are selling it, the, the, the retailers that are selling it, uh, you know, pricing the car at that price is basically what makes this car feel uh, really bad to our us buyers. So um, I'm not going to take this part of, apart uh, for this video at least because I still feel like the, uh, the temperature is within range so that, you know, even when we are doing the uh, stress test in 24 degrees Celsius window, we're seeing the temperature somewhere around 90 degrees Celsius, which is still below the 95 degrees Celsius temperature of GDDR6. Um, what you could do to improve this is basically, you know, taking it apart and then place, replacing the thermal pad with the, uh, the better ones from Thermal Odyssey or something, but that could potentially avoid your warranty. So um, it's your choice, but I still feel like this car, if you use it normally, it should be fine. Uh, there shouldn't be any issue with it. And um, um, at least this is for my uh, first impression for this car. Okay, there we have it guys. Hope you really liked this uh, video. And uh, if you really liked the video, click on the uh, like button and subscribe to my channel to receive the latest news from me. And if you have other questions about this GPU, feel free to post in the comment section down below and I will reply to you ASAP. So uh, yeah, that's it for the entire video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.